My God. My friend. You. What a strange world we found ourselves in. But hail heart itself. I knew I'd see it someday, but not as its savior. Well, a savior among saviors. Your Mara was as formidable as ever. I'm impressed she was able to stabilize the witnesses' portal long enough for your allies to slip through. Including myself. I don't believe I was invited. Forgive me, but we have a common cause. Besides, would you really turn me away at your time of need? Our relationship is conditional. Transactional. I understand that. It couldn't be anything else. My loosened hive will still come after you. Make you sharp, as my sister would say. Consider it an act of love. Now, do what you do best. And when you need me, I'll be there. But after this, I don't owe you a thing. Guardian, be alert. I sense loosened hives swarming to your location. Too many to just be from Luzaku's brood. Are they coming to help? That is unlikely. Then let's see if we can find out what they're up to. I think Mara's right. The loosened hive are setting up to attack the tower. We need to get down there. Heads up. I've spotted some loosened hive crossing the mountain. It looks like they're on the move, same direction we are. Mara spotted them too. Head to the tower. You and Kate be careful out there. See if you can intercept them, Guardian. The last thing we need is Hive light bearers catching us in a pincer. Figures. Savathun waited until we were down to kick us. Isn't that the prevailing style, my sweet flappable friend? <laughs> At least it's my style. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? The entire universe is at stake. Why are your people attacking us? Why indeed? Maybe you should ponder that little riddle a bit more. Let it roll around in your pretty little skulls. There's more than existence at stake within the Traveler. I'm sure you've so many guesses as to what my motives could be. Look at you, guard. Brimming with light and dark, like an overflowing teacup. Not so long ago, some would have called that heretical. That's enough. We're trying to heal the Traveler. If we lose, so do you. If my little army is enough to stop you from winning your fight, do you really think you have a chance against something like the Black Fleet? You think you're helping us? Oh, I've always been helping. But I would admit, this little contingency is a tad more selfish than I've let on. Don't worry. We're almost done here. We don't have time for your games. Oh, that's all this is, Crow. A game of moving pieces and pretty shapes. But I'm looking beyond this one. Setting the pieces for the next. Great. Welcome to the end, Guardian. Show me how you're going to stop it. Not bad, but not good enough. Not yet, anyway. I'll be watching. Lucent Hive are falling back from the tower, regrouping. Savathun's brood are going to dig into the Traveler like ticks. We can't fight two wars at once, not in our state. Leave the Witch Queen to me. I have a suspicion about what game she's at, and we can't let it distract us. But... You're sure you've got this? The Guardian and I can dispense with Savathun's brood. Right now, the Vanguard needs you. If anything changes, you know I'm here. I know. Look at you. Walk and talk. Nice to meet you. I'm like a ten of the six coyotes. <laughs> I'm used to ranging far and wide, but this whole new frontier, huh? <laughs> Feels right to be where we are, though. 
You might know I shepherd on partner ghosts looking for guardians. I came to the Pale Heart following some of my flock who felt called here. Some of them have gone missing. This is a dangerous place in its current state. The witness has done a real number on it. My friend Lee swears up and down the traveler's hurt. That we've got to help it. It's not such a surprising conclusion to come to when you look at it. My charges were pretty twisted up about it last I saw them. They want to heal the traveler too, but a ghost isn't meant to be alone. So here's my ask. You help me track down the ghosts who haven't come back. We solve whatever trouble they've gotten into. And then, if we are very good and a little lucky, maybe we help the traveler while we're out there. This war has gone on so long. And despite all the battles we've won, we've never been so close to losing everything. If there's any chance this can help the traveler, I need your help, Guardian. Back from the wild. Picking up a spike in enemy activity. They're rerouting to your location. Behold, sister. The lie that makes itself true. An Ahamkara. Do you know what power you hold within your hands? I know it with my very soul. This is the way we safeguard our people. You gave chase to my words without hesitation. I hoped you might at least refuse. Never. <laughs> Tell me you are pleased. I am, Aldrin. But more for your return than for a gift I never thought possible. I voyaged worlds for you, Mara. I brought you a wish dragon. Are you not proud of your brother? Mostly I missed him. Guardian, we received a report from Crow that House Salvation are converging on the Cradle. House Salvation is fractured. The devoted here cannot be swayed from the Witness's command. Mithrax, I can hear the Traveler calling out in pain. Whatever how salvation is doing, it ends now. A mobile data center lies ahead. It appears to be shielded with a power source near your location. Dismantle their defenses, and I will splice into how salvation's communications. Together, we will reveal how salvation's intentions. Salvation for trying to tap into the root of paracausal power here. The tree. According to their data, the tree regulates paracausal energy flowing through it, both light and dark. It appears they're mapping that flow through the Traveler, looking for vulnerable points. I've got a copy of the data. Let's move. Mithrax, if I'm reading this data correctly, it looks like we need to get below the tree to its root system. Our salvation has erected barriers preventing entry, but their power sources are remote. This technology... It is a hybrid of Elixnian pyramid design. It carries no spirit, like Scorncraft. It can be disabled, but the interface is unfamiliar to me. The splice will require time. These machines operate by harvesting paracausal energy. Some utilize light, others darkness. We've seen tech like this before. It's only ever designed to handle one polarity of paracausal energy. Harvest their energy and force it into the machines. The barriers are down. Now is our chance. I... I... I know this elixir. It's not possible. Mithrax? By your light. 
it. Bring them to justice, Guardian. Vanished. <sighs> the coward has fled. Mithrax, who was that? The shadow of my shameful life. Stretching out from the past to chase me. Don't let it rattle you. We've restored the tree's energy flow and kept it out of the enemy's hands. But we can't leave an enemy operative unaccounted for. Agreed. I propose my house salvation contacts work alongside your agents. We will hunt this foe together. Elix need like that captain have forgotten themselves. After millennia adrift, abandoned, they step within the great machine and choose to despoil this sacred place in service to the one who caused the whirlwind. They must be brought to justice. Guardian, my hidden have turned up some information on the captain who fled the tree. His name is Korra. He was Aramis's right hand until we retook Seraph Station. After our last meeting, my agents tracked him to Europa. They're rallying a counterattack to retake the tree. We can't risk a setback at this stage in our operation. Cora does not deserve the rank of captain. Let us do what I should have done. Long ago. We're with you, Rex. Hopefully we can stop him before he draws any more elixir into this fight. A small suffering for the promise of Reese Reborn can be intoxicating. That's what the Witness's philosophy does. It takes hope and twists it into a lie. Guardian, I can disable those shields, but I need you to route access to the Shanks remote control system. Mithrax, this seems personal. Yes. When I plundered with the old crews, my mother was captain. As command passed to me, she remained a specter of power. Violence aged me, and I cut ties with that life. With her. Silent years passed before I learned of a sobering truth. She was long dead. Killed by Korra of the House of Winter. And for him, I will redraw my blade. I am not proud of that time, Guardians. I have tried to move beyond it, but it seems our pasts are restless beasts. I've locked away pieces of my past as well, to protect myself and others. Youth is chaotic, but if we command that energy, mold it into something better, like you and I've done in the city. Yes. Like we will continue to do in the future. But for now, I think we can manage a few secrets from the past. Cora, I am Mizrax, son of Enax, and I am your end. There are 
Many who would prey upon them. Many who would twist her kindness. She'll find her path, just like we have. Because she has you to guide her. I hope you will guide her as well. She holds the great Ikora Ray in the highest respect. You have my word. Devotion to my potential. <laughs> I don't know what you think that potential is, or why you left me this. What do you see when you hold that weapon in your hands? Lessons stained into the blade. Wrong. You're spending too much time looking at blemishes. Devote yourself to them, and you miss the edge's sharpness, the sturdiness of the haft. All things have potential, if they are properly cared for. If not, they rust, they chip, and eventually, they shatter. People are no different. I was in command. There was an alliance to protect, and you were chipping away at yourself. You were a new light with a future. It was my responsibility to care for you. Now... It's time you figured out what that future is. Guardian, the Shadow Legion is on the move. Crow reports they're transporting heavy equipment across the Pale Heart, but we don't know to what end. Your metal is needed, Guardian. Find my father's traitor legion and leave them in ruin. Tales of your tenacity never match seeing your battle prowess firsthand. It is why my legions watch your crucible. But at this time, I am reminded of stories of not only guardians, but the lightless, rallying in defense of their homes in the face of insurmountable odds. To strike down an invasion, to free the traveler, to break the witness. This terrain, like a wasteland flattened by battle. I see the cratered ruin of my homeworld in this place. When the Hive invaded, Zebu Arath's steps imprinted death into the streets of every city across Torbottle. But even against the coming Armageddon, we persevere. My armada rose from those flames, as did our coalition. The Shadow Legion have set up an extractor. They're trying to harvest the light from the traveler. You've got this. The shield has collapsed. Destroy it! Guardian, you will not fight alone. I will not stand aside and watch as my father's poisonous legacy defiles this place. I will fight to my last breath! May they burn forever in fires of their own making. We're not done yet. Crows intercepted Shadow Legion chatter to and from this outfit. This is a widespread operation. Then we will find them all and break them, one by one. Together. Empress, you should take the lead on this. No. You are Vanguard Commander. You will lead, and all of Seoul will follow. We're done. We're done here when I say we're done here. How dare you dismiss my command like that? That was not a command. It was vengeance, pure and simple, and you know it. You're better than that. Call it what it is. At least I have the spine to take action. Meanwhile, you sit back here at your pathetic war table, sulking. I'm grieving our fight. And I'm grieving our friend, Zavala. His killer walks free, and you're too high and mighty to give the order yourself. So you sit back and let the Guardian do your dirty work for you. 
You disgust me. Our intel suggests that the Shadow Legion have set up their light harvesting operation in the mountains, using the storm as cover. We will flush these cowards out of hiding and trample them beneath our boots. And to die, Guardians, we fight together. I will withdraw. That area is too dangerous. Let the Guardian handle it. Or you could join me, Commander. Excellent work, Guardian. Empress, there's no need for this recklessness. Recklessness requires impulsivity, but I am in full control of this battlefield, Zavala. Without fear, without hesitation, as you should be. Keitel, I'm not afraid of the battlefield because I'm lightless. I'm not afraid to die. I know that. Commander Zavala has never feared death. I wished to see life on your face again. This tower attitude doesn't suit you. I'd rather you be wielding your rage in a shimmering fist. You might get that wish. Why here? Of all places. Guardian, that platform must be brought down. Go! Zavala, this tiny house. Is this a memory of a time long past? A family, simpler, smaller times. You dwelled here. Hmm. I see. My homes were palaces, vast and cold. Nothing so inviting as this. Your memory honors them. I failed them. My family. Like I failed Taj. No. Steal your mind against these old wounds. We are so much more than the scars of our failure, Savala. Did Eris tell you that? No, small man. You did. They chose to face insurmountable odds in defense of those they loved. And when we are finished, we will celebrate them together in ways that will shame and awe our ancestors. Bring him back. Bring him back. I can't. Take my life. You know I can't. Would you? Would you bring him back if you could? Find a way, Taj. Please! Bring back my son. It was only a matter of time before Savathun showed herself. She is not capable of letting this moment pass without placing a claw on the scales. For now, she has exactly what she wants. Uncertainty. We will take that from her. Track down her brood, and pull back the veil from her plans. Mara Sav, so eager to spar with gods at the drop of a hat. Aren't you tired of losing to me? I seem to recall your logic rebuked. Your ghost being imprisoned by the Vanguard. That tastes of anything but loss. The sword logic was always tarnished, but your bomb logic also went down in flames. Quite spectacularly, if I do say so myself. Two queens. Failed by ideology. We adapt or die, and it's a new age. Isn't that right, your majesty? Do you see it yet? The end of our little game, buried between memory and material. Between dark and light. What trinket from the past holds your attention so? Not a trinket, a perspective. The knowledge of angles, of edges, and the points at which they end. 
a convincing argument from Sister Superior, you could say. No, she couldn't have been. Guardian, those taken. I need you to focus your efforts on destroying them and releasing their energy. As much of it as you can. Mom, what did you do? Placed a finger on the scales. The darkness inside of you is searching, like standing on the threshold of being taken. You see how they see. Savathun's plan was never about hiding anything, but revelation. Look for what is out of place, and bend it back. Ugh. I cannot hold it any longer. I feel the Traveler's pain too, you know. Without me, the Witness would have swept Saul away a long time ago. We play an unwinnable game, meant to extend on forever. And I've shown you how to change the rules time and time again, without even a thank you. There will be a day when you've run out your usefulness, Witch. When you will have no greater scheme to protect you from our wrath. We must know what is happening here. Guardian, destroy the Taken. I require their power. Guardian, reveal what lies here. I will hold as long as I am able. Wait. I... I feel light. But it's... out of phase. A light fissure. But it exists in an entirely different state of matter than we can normally perceive. But the Taken can. Ah, you figured it out. Just in time. Here they come now. This one comes to your aid, Guardian. You need not fight alone. There are fissures of light all across the Pale Heart that exist out of phase with the material world, ones brimming with potential. Now that I know how to find them, I should be able to help the Traveler. Then we're both getting what we want. How nice when light bearers find mutually beneficial outcomes. You're welcome. And thank you for not interfering as much as you could have. <laughs> Words spoken on borrowed time. You only live because a threat more pressing overshadows you. Oh, there's no need to flatter me. You can save your love for later when all of this comes back around. If you're so interested in helping, call off the Lucent Brood. Help us fight the Traveler's enemies. Guardians, always wanting more. <laughs> Don't look a tithing thrall in the maw, little ghost. stand together on the precipice of annihilation all our battles and all our losses have led to this moment one final battle against the architect of the collapse one last step together into the end in spite of all the power the witness has we stand undefeated we have endured endless tragedies endless losses but we come back fighting. Today is no different. Just a god of darkness. We got this, right? Together. We do.